Hi, loving good earth scientists, and welcome to our video on sedimentary rocks. So while you watch this video, you should be filling out your sedimentary rock graphic organizer. This is found on the back of the igneous rock organizer. So we're going to start way at the top, where it says, what is a sedimentary rock? Basically, a sedimentary rock forms when particles of rocks, plants, or animals are cemented together. So a sedimentary rock takes all these little pieces, and over hundreds of thousands of years, it cements and glues them together, and you get a rock. Now, how do sedimentary rocks form? So I remember this by the big five, and you'll hear me in class say W-E-D-C-C, because sometimes it takes a lot to write it out. Um, and so the big five consists of this. <clears throat> in order for a sedimentary rock to form, you have to have weathering. And weathering is when water or wind breaks down rock or even organic material into sediment. In order to have a sedimentary rock, you have to have sediment. And what sediments are are just pieces of rocks or plants or animals. And weathering is the process that makes these pieces. It makes these sediments. After weathering, we have erosion. And what erosion is, is the process that takes running water or wind, and it moves or carries or transports the sediment. It'll carry it down a river. It'll blow it through the air. Um, and that is all, that's what erosion is, moving the sediment. After erosion, you have deposition. And deposition is when that river or the wind drops the sediment down back onto the ground, usually. Um, <clears throat> I remember this as taking that word deposit. And uh, if I go to the bank and make a deposit, I'm dropping my money off at the bank. I'm leaving it at the bank for them to watch and take care of. And so deposition is dropping the sediment from the water or the wind. After deposition, we have compaction, which is basically when the sediment is on the ground and it starts layering um, and being pressed together. And uh, I think of that, that, com that word compact, um, a compact disc, a CD, is compacting the musical files to that CD. Um, a makeup compact is compacting or pressing the makeup into a little container so that you can easily carry it around. So compaction is pressing the sediment. And then finally you have cementation. And cementation is basically gluing or cementing the sediment. Okay? Um, you have to have it all glued together or else you don't have a rock. And again, this process takes hundreds of thousands of years before you actually get a rock to form. Um, and just another term that you'll hear sometimes with sedimentary rock is the word strata. And this is basically just the layers of rock. And if you're ever driving down the highway, sometimes you can look out of the car and you'll see rock layers on the, on the side of the road where they've cut through um, a hill or a mountain. And, um, and that is called strata when it's dealing with a sedimentary rock. Now, there are three kinds of sedimentary rock. So we're now going to fill out this little section here. Um, and we have uh, organic rock. And organic rock is rock that forms from the remains of plants and animals. Okay, so anytime you have a rock where the sediment is mainly plants and animals, you have an organic rock. Now, a common example of that is coal. And I know you can't see this well, and we'll be looking at this in class. But coal was just made from plants and animals being compacted and cemented over thousands of years. And another example that we'll look at in class is a type of limestone. Um, and it is also considered an organic rock. Actually, this is chemical. I don't have the organic limestone. Um, clastic rock is rock particles that are squeezed together to form a rock. So I like this one because basically it's a rock made from rock. That's what a clastic rock is. And so a common example is conglomerate. And again, I know you can't see very well and we'll look at it in class, but this is just made up of itty bitty teeny tiny particles um, of pebbles. And they're more rounded that have been squeezed together. And when we look at it in class, you'll see itty bitty teeny tiny rocks. So this is a clastic sedimentary rock. There's a little sediment right there that's been glued together. 
Another example is called breccia, and it's also made up of little bitty rocks, but the difference is these are more jagged um, instead of the more rounded uh, pebbles that conglomerate is made up of. So you have a more jagged um, amount of rock. So both of these are clastic, made up of other rock. And then the third type of sedimentary rock, so you should be on the third one, is chemical rock. And a chemical rock forms when minerals are dissolved in a solution and they crystallize. Okay, and so I, I think of chemical has an M in it, and in this one I have to have the minerals, which starts with an M, they have to dissolve. Okay, um, and an, an example, and I showed the wrong limestone, is this type of limestone is a chemical um, rock where the uh, minerals dissolved and crystallized. Um, and we'll look at a, another example of limestone that is actually um, organic, I just don't have that with me today. Okay, so there are um, three types of sedimentary rock, and they are all made up of sediments, and they go through the big five in order to be created. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.